Hey, what is up gamers? Squirrely here. Thank you so much for joining me as always. Typically when I do these story time videos, it's kind of looking at things from the past. I like to call them blasts from the past. These really interesting or fun experiences that happen usually many, many years ago, like when keys were under three refined or when trade servers were popping off with people spy crabbing or, you know, when MVM first came out and the golden pan first came out or the first time I was scammed or the first time I would box an unusual. It's really fun to think about these memories and time, but usually they're a long time ago. They're way back, you know, many, many years ago. If you happen to be around back then, it's kind of fun to rehear the nostalgia and remember how things used to be. Or if you're newer to TF2 or trading, it's like, wow, I had no idea that's kind of the history of where we came from. I never knew that story. But this story is special and unique because this is something that just happened very, very recently. And I almost went on this wild, crazy spending spree. But I want to explain my thought process to you guys because just this week or two, I was so close, so very close to buying not just one, but two burning team captains. So let's talk about that. And don't forget, if you like this kind of stuff and you want more videos from me, all you have to do is like the video real quick, consider subscribing or leaving a comment as well. That really helps out, boost the YouTube algorithm for Team Fortress 2, and it motivates me to make more videos as well. So thanks so much. I thought it would be fun to share with you guys my story, my thought process, and my entire experience of everything that went through my head because I was very, very close to pulling the you know pulling the trigger on this, adding these people to friends. I'm ready to go with keys or cash or whatever they need. And with my you know background and my experience, I would have no problem getting both of these hats very quickly in my backpack. And so I figured it'd be interesting for some of you who have never done really high tier trades or maybe newer to trader to get inside the mind of someone of like, why would you spend that much money on a virtual item? Like a burning team captain is cool, but like who are these people? people that buy and trade for this item and why do they do it? What is their plan? And just like, how could you be in that situation where you're actually wanting to maybe buy something worth 8,000 keys or more? When it comes to reasons why someone might want to have something really expensive, like a burning team captain, most people think, well, of course, it's the burning TC. It's the number one item. It's kind of like the ultimate flex to everyone in Team Fortress 2. Look what I got. Look at me. But I think there's more to that. There's a couple different reasons. Number one, it could be for a flex, right? You kind of want to show off. Uh, but sometimes you just work really hard and you earned it. You, you deserve to have a nice car or a nice house or a nice watch or whatever. Like if you worked your way up, it's totally okay to reward yourself. So if you have that mindset, I think it's totally cool. If you're buying just a flex, then whatever, you know, if you can afford it, no big deal. But that's kind of the main reason most people think about is they want it just to flex. Uh, the other reason could be for someone, they're looking for profit, just like anything. They want to buy something and flip it for a profit. But since the TC is more of a collector's item and it's so expensive, usually the profit isn't really as much in the picture. Although it's definitely still there for some people, they only want to buy it to sell it for more and make some money. And then the final thing is probably people just don't care about money as much. It's not a big deal. And they just want to collect things for fun. They enjoy having nice things, buying nice things, or collecting nice things. And so they might not even use it or wear it very much, but they just want to have it in their backpack as like a challenge. Kind of like back in the day when I was collecting, you know, double spelled items and exquisite racks and usuals. It was just part of the fun was the challenge of hunting for these and finding them because they're not always for sale. So if you can grab it, it's kind of like your reward for doing your homework. Good job. Now you earn this. Now it's yours. No one else has it. Now, as for my reasons, it's a little bit of a mixture in there. Part of it is the third thing I said, the challenge, the fun of it. You know, I think I'm at a position where it's really cool and fun to think about. You can afford anything in TF2. Like I've been trading long enough. I built up my backpack. I've done what, you know, well with investing and saving and a lot of other things and personal finance. So to me, it's kind of like, well, this is the next stage. I kind of feel like I almost have to buy a burning TC because I can. And I feel like if I can get a good price and it's smart, then like, why wouldn't I do it? Part of it also is number two is like, I would want to make profit. I don't want to buy anything if it's going to go down in value, like a brand new car or a brand new house or something like that unless I know I can flip it for more or the market's good or I'm getting a really good price so the profit thing is still there and of course number one there's a little bit of that I mean I do enjoy having nice things uh, at the end of the day I think it's really fun to be in service and see people with rare items with hats uh, golden pans or whatever it's fun to see newer traders or people who aren't as experienced in TF2 just kind of the you know the glow in their eyes like oh my gosh I saw burning TC or I saw this or I saw that it's just kind of fun to be around those kind of people and you know kind of make their day so that was part of it too, but overall for me, I wanted profit. Like I, if I'm going to buy a burning TC, I'm going to flip it for profit and I'm going to be smart about it. So that was my main thing was number two. Don't get it wrong. Having a nice hat to show off is fun sometimes, you know, wanting to, you know, collect things and do stuff for the challenge is fun, but I was looking for money and profit if I'm going to buy a burning TC and spend that much keys. Now, as far as reasons why I talked myself out of getting a burning team captain or two burning team captains, that list was a lot longer. And ultimately, this is why it talked me out of it and I ended up not doing it completely because you got to be objective with money and spending, right? It's easy to go down this rabbit hole of like, well, if I'm just going to buy this, you know, add a little bit more, or why not get two of them or three of them? Or, or how about this as well? I already add this. Why not add this on top? And that's what they do with sales, right? You buy a phone or you buy a car and they just keep adding little things on top of it because you already spent so much. Why not spend a little bit more and a little bit more? So it's easy to go down 
down this rabbit hole of now you spent way more than you thought. So that was number one. It's like, if I'm going to buy a burning TC, it kind of unlocked this decision in my head that like, well, if I'm going all out, I might as well go all out. I might as well buy this. I might as well buy that. And it's like, no, that's not what I want. It's hard to set a limit once you decide to go big. So that was one big decision or one part of that big decision is not to go big because it's hard to stop after that. Another thing I had to think about is just because there's an opportunity there, just because you can do something doesn't mean it makes sense, right? You can be emotionally attached to something because it's on sale or you've been wanting something a lot. You can really, really want it. But once you kind of crunch the numbers, you do the math, like I get this thing, I'm stuck with it. What am I going to do with it? It's easier to talk yourself out of it. And usually before you make a really big decision, just give it a day or two, like just think it over. Chances are you will end up backing out of it. Same thing goes with don't go shopping when you're hungry because you're going to buy all this junk food, just way too much stuff. So the same thing with money, stop and think about it. So what I had to do is say, okay, if I spend this much money and I want profit, who am I going to sell it to? Like most of, almost all the collectors already have a burning team captain. Like the people who can afford it and want it, most of them probably already have it. So the people I would be selling to are other traders who also want profit. So I'm probably not going to get as much profit as I want unless I get like a really, really good deal on it. So that was part of it is my window and opportunity of flipping it for profit. And the, the pool of people that would want it is just so small. That was another big deciding factor. It's just kind of helped make me a decision of, I don't think I want this because how am I going to resell it? I've been seeing these burning team captains pop up there more often than normal. Um, and that was the thing is there was a great opportunity at first sight. I saw there's not only one, but two burning team captains for sale, a clean one, which rarely happens and a duped one. So I was like, wow, this is great. I can buy two at the same time, take them both off the market. That way there's less for sale. You know, there's less people that have them and chances are the price should go up, right? You know, whole supply and demand thing. So I have two of them, which is, I don't know, maybe 20% of all of them that exist or 10% of all that exists or something like that. And that way the chances are the price will go up a lot more and I can sell them as I want to and get a lot more for my money. But I don't think that was going to happen. Another very, very important factor is to always think about with any size of money, but definitely if you're just going to spend a lot of money on something is what is the goal of this money? Like what's its purpose? Is it just to use it to get something? Because if it's like I said, if it's a new car, it's probably going to go down in value. So you're technically losing money on a car or if you're buying a brand new house or something like that. But if you're buying a collectible or you're buying something that's going to go up in price or investing in something, you're going to make money off of your money. And that's kind of where the phrase comes, you know, money makes money, which is true for the most part, if you know what you're doing. But if I'm going to spend 8,000 keys on a brand new, you know, clean burning team captain, that's, you know, anywhere between like fourteen to $15,000 in cash. Is that the best use of my money? Like, am I going to get $20,000 out of that? Like how many keys do I got to flip this thing for to make my profit? In my mind, there's much better things I could do with 15 grand investing in the stock market, investing in myself, you know, buying whatever that I could use that money. That's going to grow a whole lot more and a whole lot faster than just having a burning team captain. And the fact of the matter is the burning TC, right, is very iconic. Like I said, it's expensive. It's rare, but not a lot of people can afford it. And not a lot of people want to pay astronomical amounts just for something, right? Once you're getting into like 8, 10, 12, 15,000 keys for an item, it's like, why would I put it all in one item when I can buy a crazy God tier backpack or a bunch of other nice items or a bunch of God tier miscellaneous items versus just getting one burning team captain. So that's the other trend. I didn't see as big of a demand from like the really, really expensive high tier traders and also Having two for sale sounds like a good deal because I can buy two, take them off the market right now. I control more of the market share of this item, the, the burning TC. But the fact that there's two might not be a good idea because maybe they're not as popular. Maybe they're struggling to sell. And that's kind of what I saw with, you know, the offers being put up there. These people would listen for sale and they would kind of sit there for a while. The buy orders didn't look very high. Just didn't look like the demand was really there. And like I said, there's so many better things I could do with my money than putting it all in one item, crossing my fingers and hoping I sell it for a lot more. So now that you know my decision was to not buy a burning team captain, especially two burning team captains, that's kind of my thought process. You know, at first I was like anybody, I was like an emotional buyer, right? I'm excited. There's two for sale. I'm sure I can haggle them and get them down to a good price. You know, I have a good reputation. I'm sure they would sell to me cash. No problem. I can get the keys if they need that as well. Like everything in my mind had played out where like, I can do this. It's going to work out. It's going to be great. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be this, this fun, like the ultimate challenge. Like who has one burning team captain? Like almost nobody. Like it's like five people who has two burning team captains. It's like, oh my gosh, like a next level, like the ultimate trader flex, right? To have two burning team captains. But then the more I thought about it, the more I, you know, detached myself and I was an objective person looking at all the, the pros and cons. I was like, you know what? It just doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense on paper. If I was a business, you know, running an investment company or whatever it is, if someone showed this to me, I'd be like, 
No, that is a horrible use of, you know, 14000 or $20,000 or whatever it is. Like, there's so many other things you could do with that that have a much better ROI. And then in the future, you could buy a bunch of them. You could buy all the burning team captains if you want, but make that money grow, you know, use it to, you know, put it to work, make it give you a better ROI. And then eventually you probably won't even want it anymore. It's like, take your emotions out of it. The challenge is fun. The flex is fun. All that other stuff is fun, but you're going to regret it later. As soon as you get it and enjoy it for a couple of days, now you're going to be like, yeah, I probably shouldn't have done this. It's hard to sell these and I might actually, you know, get bored and quick sell them and then I lose money. So that's what you don't want to do. Don't sell during panic. Don't sell during fear. You actually kind of want to do the opposite, right? Sell when things are high, buy when things are low and you can get a good deal. So Thank you guys for joining me as always. Hopefully you found this story time interesting as someone who went from just minding their business, do, 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 you know, let's check back by TF, what's going on to, oh my gosh, I can buy not one, but two burning team captains right now. I can get them right now. The stories I can tell and the videos I can make and, you know, it's going to be crazy and oh my gosh, it's going to be amazing. This journey, this challenge, like it's going to be like once in a lifetime opportunity and I had to stop, detach myself, get away from my emotions and say, you know what? I am falling into the trap of what they do with marketing and ads and they draw you in with panic or fear or whatever kind of emotions it is. So be smart with your money, detach, be objective because, you know, especially when you're throwing around a lot of money like that, you're almost always going to regret it if you make an impulsive decision, an impulsive buy. So hopefully you found that interesting. Let me know but down below in the comments what you guys would do in my situation. If you could get a burning team captain, would you get it or would you end up spending that money on something else? And maybe that'll be another future video. I will talk about, well, what I end up doing with all that money that I didn't use to buy a burning team captain and a uh, hint, hint, stock market. So have a great day, you guys. Hopefully I will see you soon and casual. Do not forget to say hi and what's up as well. I will link you guys to my Steam group. That way you don't miss a new video and all my other shout outs. So take care. See you guys in the next video. Peace. Was it heavy up to Oh no, they're pushing. Nice, Swirly.